also here just to check out the cyber truck it's going to be in an exposition here at the shopping so never seen it live so let's see what it's all about <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Project Center. Today we are at our special place. Yes, as always. Yes, as always. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to review the Honda, okay, today. So let me just. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know some people don't like the design, others love it, like me. I just think uh, it looks very futuristic. Yes, got the number plates covered today. <laughs> like that, I don't have to edit and blur it out. It's actually um, a long time to do. <laughs> So yes, Honda Civic Type R FN2. So got fog lights, old school futuristic lights. It's got the special uh, front bumper kit and at the back. Um, so I bought this car already like this. Um, they call this the White Championship, and uh, I bought it with like 50,000 kilometers only. See, the back bumper is a difference, so he picked it from a uh, factory. So this came from Switzerland, okay. Um, very rare to get these here in this color. I haven't seen any. Uh, if I go to the internet, maybe I'll find one or two. Um, it's not the Munjan edition because that one comes with a different Ireland here at the back, a different wing, uh, much bigger, and some different specs also inside. And uh, it also comes. I don't know if the bumpers are too different, I can't remember now. Um, this owner, he asked for the wheels to be black instead of white. So he's picked it from factory. And yes, a beautiful car indeed. So, I also like this uh, format of lights. I mean, at the time, it was futuristic. You know? Uh, I'm going to get a new emblem, because these normally this happened with these emblems. On these type of cars, they start peeling off with time. Um, I always keep my cars covered in the shade in the garage. They never at the sun um, when they parked at home. So I'm going to get another one of these, and then I'll uh, put it on video as a content, changing the symbol, just like we did in the Saxo. The the boot is very big. I mean, it's an excellent boot. For to carry children with the children's seat, uh, isofix even with the the hook of the child seat. It's like this one and the Oryx eight are the most practical to just fit the chairs in and the caddy, of course, because it's more modern. We got a power outlet over here. Um, I got this rubber mat, like always, you know me. I also put an aluminium plate at the bottom of this and another rubber mat underneath because this has a false um, area for uh, like a hole cavity so it's for the spare wheel but I don't have the spare wheel on this one so it's just um, uh, it's like false you know floor so because here the original carpets would just start caving in I decided to um, put a rubber mat this aluminium 
so that it's hard you can put weight here with no problem whatsoever and this special molded carpet um, which is very cool and then I've got the original carpets that also comes out the original carpets underneath of the of the Honda because it has this bottom floor has like a a, a flap just flaps up you know and you can storage stuff there as well um, but because the space is so big I don't really use it you know it's even got hooks here I mean I just love this car it's got everything I mean for a daily drive this is excellent cars which I don't daily drive because I want to like don't want to do too many kilometers I've already got 50,000 but I just use this for pleasure you know drive on a weekend that's what I use RX-8 as well for uh, the sex I use as daily drive and the Raptor as well so yes yeah, more like collectible cars for me you know uh, but you never know sometimes we change it sometimes we don't <laughs> the Saxo I don't know if I'm going to stay with the Saxo that's another news update uh, I'm going to get a new van for the um, Ford so I'm also going to share that with you guys uh, then what do you guys think we stay with the Saxo or sell it um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what time uh, we'll see what we'll, we will do I still had more upgrades to do on the Saxo, but let's see. We've got a window over here, which is cool when you're looking backwards. Uh, this helps a lot, this window. Um, some people tint it, which uh, I think is not worth it because you need this visibility a lot in this car because of this barrier here. Um, otherwise, two handles for the hands. The door closes well. You just got to shut it uh, better like that because it's got the electric um, lock system as soon as you press the button you can hear the lock electrically unlocking the bumper is really cool the back bumper with these waves here um, two exhausts already from factory that's just a beautiful car I don't know I really like this car. Like I like all my cars. That's why I choose them because I like them. I don't like nothing too fancy because first I can't afford it. <laughs> and then um, I always like like these these different. I like cars that people normally would don't choose or don't like. That's it. <laughs> like uh, full of quirks, you know, and strange stuff. They look. Uh, weird have like um, different stuff like the rotary has a Winkle engine this car it looks like super futuristic like just uh, different from any other car and uh, the Saxo user so looks like a normal car but it rides like a rally car I mean it's just cool so what we got here at the back we have cup holders um, these seats go forward like that okay for storage and that part folds down okay um, so you pull this to the forward and then the top part comes down okay uh, in the normal five door uh, car you can actually just fold the whole thing uh, to the front I guess or to the back I'm not sure uh, I think the other one you can even take it out the seats I don't know I know that the five door because it's five door so you then you you fold the whole thing to the front and you have that full access at the back so you even have more space with five doors for loading stuff so even five door you know even if it's not a type R it's a very cool car to have as a daily driver um, what else I have that little cushion there that's for when my mom wants to drive <laughs> Um, we've got some good speakers here uh, you pull down the seats with this lever right here okay um, just like that you see uh, it's even got a support for the seat belts from where for when you you pull in the the seat down you can even put the seat belt like that to not interfere with the movement um the floor is red so it's quite a hassle to keep clean that's why i have 
extra extra carpets okay which i saw this to get some rubber ones um to take out one of these okay i bought these replicas just like i said you are getting on the video um and i was doing the modification on that carpet the ceiling we got a light there handles even on the <laughs> driver's side i really like that sometimes i'm driving and i do just feel like we do my hand like that you know um so that's very really cool um very easy to get in and out very easy uh let's see i had to change this because the first one had a cigarette mock so the owner used to smoke and he burnt this right here um the carpets look fantastic these ones <laughs> Then we got storage room, yes we got glove compartment that goes all the way, looks like it never ends. So a lot of space in this car. Also the door um, storage room is very big as well. This is all little rubber in here, all the textile. I like the ways they use the temperature on the door, that's just unusual. Um, can lock the doors manually, got the twitters right there. Now we've got to go to the other side, got the Type R right there on the floor. How cool is that as well? Uh, the mags are also very nice, I like them. The calipers really come with all factory. I mean, I just changed the fog lights because they also by default of this car tend to go blurry. They get like a, a white um, shadow inside. But uh, I, I got them changed and then um, I can clean the other ones and keep them because all you have to do is clean them, you know. I said that the mechanic wouldn't charge me extra on that labor. I just decided if you're going to take it out, just put new ones and then I'll take care of the original ones. But these ones are also proper Honda ones. Um, these do work, the sprinklers. The headlight washers, they work when you use the, the window wipers, okay. Uh, also got another type of oh, right in front here. There's so many details in this car. <laughs> I think I'm going to forget something. Um, the rear view mirrors are electrical. So let's get in here and show you guys what it's all about. I did choose the worst location for sports cars. <laughs> uh, it's an adventure to bring a sports car right here. <laughs> Um, good thing is that this is the lowest car I have so even if I get another sports car at least I know that it will come here so we can do the video review you know so for taking a while just cleaning my feet over there so here on this side we have um, locking the windows uh, just so that windows don't go up and down locking the windows the back windows do not open but i can tell you one thing the aircon of this car is probably the best aircon that i've ever seen i mean it's the coldest one i've ever had in my life it's so efficient so efficient that it really freezes up everything inside here um electric review windows to get that working we have to switch on the car so just take this, I have to close the door Russ, it's going to be beeping for every reason. Uh, I'm going to have to switch off the wind completely. Yes. So review mirrors, electrical, I mean, that's so cool. Um, you can change the brightness, You can, there's a bunch of many uh, modes you can do here. Oh, that was just the radio. Sorry about that guys, okay. Uh, yes, because I'm always changing cars then I never know how to work with them. There you go, all the info is there, you see. Kilometers, fuel efficiency, distance until it's empty. Then you got a lot of other stuff. Um, then you can really get into the menu. I think you have to like keep this pressed and then yes you see then you have another five menus and it's really old school uh, it's so cool it's like playing an old video game <laughs> oh man so cool uh got cruise control 
uh, volume channel up and down can do everything from the steering wheel automatic um, uh, rain wipers system and automatic lights as well which is very cool so um, got storage in here I always use these remember PVC pads that I cut and use for every single storage room I have even at the bottom here I also have and I can also show you this so once again the Bluetooth uh, a nice storage room over here also a very efficient arm rest system um, for example the the Raptor isn't efficient as this one because I can't really get my arm at the back and continue driving here I can so this one is in a good position look at that another leaf inside oh uh, this car already came with this cigarette here mark so yes unfortunately um, I got this car for a very good price but there was this um, so my solution for this uh, will be to get this out just this part here and use this black mat exactly this black material with the red stitching uh, just on this little part right here and do it for the drivers as well uh, at the back I don't know if I should also put it black just the same or not or maybe I'll just put black on this one and on the drivers and like that also it doesn't get um, so worn out because I'm afraid sometimes people with pants or something sharp might tear this even more uh, especially if it's got this so uh, yes this was unfortunately this one already had it had like another big one here and another three but i got another part of these from another honda and i changed it actually it's very easy to change this uh, if you look on youtube people say that it's very complicated it's not it's very easy to change this actually um you just have to be careful to get it out here okay then I'll show you guys one day. It's very easy. You just unclip on this side here. There's a screw here, a screw there, and then you have to like yank this out gently, and it all comes out. So yes, this is like this is brand new. If you guys saw this, it would be a disaster. But this is a different story because I have to get the seats out so that the upholstery guy can uh, fix this seat. But then I have to change the driver seat because I can't get this material you know I did look for new seats but none of them come in this good condition as this one I mean it's just this so he was must have been smoking cigarettes and he dropped it here because there's no wear and tear on these seats anyway I mean they just look brand new so why change the whole seat you know that's what I'm thinking so let's see Type R right there, and some aluminium here and plastic. These two holes here really looks beautiful. So, engine starts. You just put the key like you just turn the key. Engine starts this little cherry sweet button here, <laughs> and this one is so cool as well. I love the color, and it's just like it's just so cool. It's like a video game. Uh, starts here the engine. Uh, got heating system for the review mirror and the back window all this works excellent it's right next to everything you know so I know that to switch on the wind all I got to do is just press that although if the wind was this button it would make more sense than this being the temperature button but that's just how they did it you know let me open these windows because I'm in here cooking okay <laughs> and um Yes, so it's also another weird, strange little feature that it's got, which is also funny. Uh, radio also ex works excellent, and with this Bluetooth accessory, even better. Um, I did show you guys in here that it's like more of that PVC. That's excellent, guys. For storage compartment, this these little pads that you can just cut... You know, just to personalize every space you got in the car, they are excellent. Very good for wear and tear. Um, big speakers also in the front. And what else do I have to say? Aircon is excellent. I've talked about it already. Got CD as well. Um, this has a lot of space. I just 
put my phone down here it's excellent and I like the way that it's speed on top and revs at the bottom it gives me like that RX8 feeling you know <laughs> uh, here we got everything here lights and these which are I think I've never used this before it's even got the sticker still imagine that yes mirrors <laughs> with lights so you can't talk bad about this car I'm just sorry uh, it's really a great car so we got the petrol cover open it from here the petrol tank and the bonnet let's open up the bonnet because this car is clean only the caddy was dirty and the Jeep we just still have to get cleaned. Now in August is a good time because I'm sort of on holiday. So I'm going to be able to do much more videos. And get those two cars washed on the engine bay. And start looking for another car. I need another van. And I don't know what to do with the sack. So do we keep upgrading it or do we sell it? So this is the engine. All clean. I mean, I like to see the, the full compartment of the engines, you know, and everything. It's a pity that it's such a small space to work on. But that's how the Japanese did this car, you know, Honda did it. So, it's still a very nice looking engine, you know, just the way it's all nice and tidy up. Very cool. Just the radiator water is a problem to see the level. I already know how to do it, but it's a hassle first time. <laughs> So you have to take a take this out, this lid, put a light in there and watch the level from the outside, you know. You've got to watch the level from the outside with the light in a dark place. So it can give you that contrast of the level of the liquid where it is. So that's the secret, it's right down there. Um, I'm using blue, it was already blue and it actually makes it easier to see the level. I already put a new battery in here and I got the KN filter, Ursa already in this because it didn't have it so I also did that um, yes and that's about it oil stick right here um, what else what else what else everything is just nice and tidy very small engine compartment for 2 litre <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's how it is though uh, even the RXS has a lot of space to work Even the Saxo even has more um, And all the other cars do Normally I do choose cars with a lot of access in the engine, you know um, But this one is what it is eh? <laughs> It will be very hard to work on it, but hopefully I won't have to work on it <laughs> So yes Let's close this up not on the first time, on the second time. But what a beauty, guys. What a beautiful car. The bumpers, they're very different from the normal ones. Just look at the difference of the bumpers compared to the other FN2s that are normal. Even the Type R's, most of them don't come with this type of bumpers. That's why it's special editions, you know. Very nice. So that's about it and our copper stayed excellent. See, all nice and tidied up there. Very nice. Um, to pull the seats up and down manually, the back, and this is to get it in and out. It's also got airbags, it's got everything. So that's the Honda Civic Type R. This car will be staying. Uh, and the RX-8, so those these those two cars you're going to be seeing a, a lot. The Jeep 4x4 UMM Ursa will be seeing it a lot as well. Um, the Saxo are still not sure, so we're going to see what we're going to do with that. Also got my little tire caps, Type R. I like to go to the detail. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? You get all these things from Aliexpress, there you go. So yes, and I'm ready to go. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let's switch on the engine, you ready? Get the coal cooled up and just press the button and it's on. There you go. 
could have a better exhaust for more noise but uh, um, this one I'm going to keep original I won't be changing um, so it's all made in England by the way <laughs> very cool and that's it guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this and the rest of this whole video and um, stay tuned guys because now like I told you guys more content more videos coming up more time uh, to do all these things and uh, get more more projects so please subscribe guys and uh, stay tuned because keep on going <laughs> okay got a lot of time free now just gonna keep on adding more and more content on the videos more videos for you guys thank you for the support we hit already 42 subscribers see and maybe we'll get 43 with this video who knows <laughs> okay so god bless you all have a beautiful beautiful weekend a beautiful day and a beautiful tomorrow okay so out uh.